So a lot of people don't know this, but um, Power Man and Iron Fist teaming up was one of the best ideas for Marvel. Um, but it kind of came off of whim that the Power Man sales weren't doing too hot. Iron Fist really wasn't doing too hot. Um, and they just wasn't, wasn't reaching their full potential. So what they did was, is that they combined the two. And that's how we got Power Man and Iron Fist, you know, and the run went a lot further. I would have loved to see Power Man team up with a black superhero. That would have been dope, especially for the, for the 70s. But, and I always wonder like, how come you don't have more black team ups back during the Bronze Age? Well, I mean, that's simple. I mean, you're still talking about the 70s and yes, it's black exploitation era. But at the same time, a lot of shops work carrying Look, Power Man, Luke Cage. A lot of shops weren't carrying black characters still, especially in the South. So to get Power Man sales to where they needed to be, they teamed them up with a white guy. Same thing they did because the Captain America deal with Falcon worked great. Yeah, so like back in the day, like this was the thing to see. And these books were selling because most of America was already buying Captain America. And they didn't mind so much that Falcon was with them as his partner. Even though, because it was black, a lot of people, even still to this day, think that Valka was a sidekick, which is not accurate. But yeah, I digress. And also, too, we also have to understand that at this time, if you're sitting somewhere in Florida in your shop, your one LCS that's there, because the comic book shops just wasn't as plentiful as they are today, they didn't carry Luke Cage. You probably even know he existed unless you saw him in another magazine. And he was like, man, how can I get my hands on this? And then you had to persuade your shop owner to carry this book for you, which could happen. But now we have the internet, information spread so much faster. So what I did was did a responsible thing and teamed up Power Man with arguably today, one of the most hottest black superheroes that we've ever seen. So this is my rendition of what a team up or with a Power Man book could have looked like if his sales weren't doing well in a perfect world. So yeah, I know it's a little busy, but yeah, basically this would have been the first time Power Man met Black Panther and they would have had an ongoing title. Unfortunately though, this probably would have been better as a one shot or just a Marvel team up, seeing as how Black Panther already had his run going with Jungle Action and uh, the Jack Kirby edition of Black Panther. So I don't know how much this could have worked and he was also integrated a lot in with the Avengers. But it would have been dope to just see on a Marvel team up. Man, this book would have probably been a grail. Who knows?